The American dream ended in tragedy for a family from Yemen over the weekend. You can see there's flowers, balloons, stuffed animals, and candles lining this wall outside of this burned-out home where the family says a desperate father raced back into his burning home to rescue his baby girl. The two did not make it out alive. And now family members from as far away as Alabama are here in Oakland to mourn the loss of their loved ones. Osam Naji, a hero guy. Rescue his family. These two men flew in from Alabama to see for themselves the remains of their cousin's charred East Oakland home. Early Saturday morning, police say this three story house right across Bishop O'Dowd High School was intentionally set on fire. Inside the home, more than a dozen people, including the Nagi family 37 year old Isam Nagi, his pregnant wife, his mother in law, and the couple's toddler, Alia, seen here singing Baby Shark. Baby Investigators have yet to say how the fire started. What police and the Nagi family did confirm after Assam managed to get his pregnant wife and her disabled mother out of the burning home, he went back in for Alia. After like two or three minutes, you just heard, Help me, help me, help me. It's the type of trauma neighbor Tori can't quite shake off, which is why he stopped by the house today to drop off some candles. It messed me up. It's had me crying out here. Police say the arson fire may be tied to a string of crimes linked to a deadly shooting at a nearby liquor store where Nagi worked as a cashier. Very hard worker, minding his business, doesn't bother nobody. Ask the community, ask the neighbors. During Ramadan, they would knock on my door and bring me food. The family created a launch good page to help the family get back on its feet. This, as Assam Nagi's wife, currently in the hospital for burn wounds, is just one week away from giving birth. Where is the justice? Where is the law? Where is the people? What type of crime is this? In Oakland, Melissa Colorado, NBC, Bay Area News.